me doing this. Truly, I cheer you on, and this is how you react. That if I created this great sense of team, and I motivated them, we would be successful, and everything would be great. Because that's what I thought leadership was. It was all about that person cheerleading and motivating. And this is what I thought it looked like. I thought that I was this orange fish, and if I cheered loud enough and got my team moving, everyone would do this. And instead, it looked like this. <laughs> and worse yet, I would say my team felt like this. Because while I could motivate really, really well, to be honest, I was creating a team, but I wasn't clear on what we were doing. What was I creating that team to do, to accomplish? I could get them riled up, but what were we trying to do together? And so in the process, we began to think more systematically about achieving educational excellence. And I became more grounded in looking at people, plans, results, and process, and in a way became more innovative. But today what I want to talk about is this idea about how we created a mission-driven culture. And that's what I want to focus on is, how did leadership become not something about me, but about something that everyone takes a part in, in terms of putting that mission in action? And so today we're going to focus on three key objectives in the short time I have. We're going to focus on how building a mission-driven culture is the right way to go. That it's not about one person, and it's about the group, the team. But I don't think I have to twist your arm very much to believe that. But the second one I'm going to focus on is something that I've learned in the process of, of writing a Baldrige application and focusing on people, plan, results, and process. And that is that for those things that matter, we have to create and hardwire good processes. And so we're going to talk about a four-step process to help your employees live your mission. And lastly, and most importantly, because this is why you're here, I'm going to just pick four of the leadership tactics we've learned with Scooter Education and talk about how we embedded them in that four-step process to help hardwire, a key word for me, hardwire how people live our mission. And let me take a moment and explain that to you. You see, I read results that last about five years ago, I think, Janet. And I wrote Quint Studer. I have to tell you, when I was an English teacher, I was teaching Maya Angelou, and we wrote her a letter, and she got on the phone with us. And so I've always been bold in contacting people I admire. I wrote Quint Studer, and I said, your book is wonderful. And you know, I think it pertains to education as well as healthcare. And he said, so do I. Janet Pilcher is running this division. So I want to see. Duh. I think I would have known that, but I didn't. But at that time, I thought, you know what? If I read the book, I can hardwire these things on my own. We couldn't do it successfully. It's only been in the last year, quite honestly, after we received the Baldrige Award, that I decided for my own organization, we really needed to hardwire some of these things. And we formed a wonderful collaborative in Wisconsin. And with the help of the folks at Studer Education, we're working with many districts to hardwire these tactics that I'm going to talk about today. So for all of you that read these books and say, you can do this, you can, but you'll do it better with a partner. That's what I'm just gonna tell you here and now. So this is what we're going to focus on today. I believe that the foundation of what we do in education all starts with people. In Baldrige language, that's categories one, three, and five. Your leaders, your customers, your employees. Then you work on plans, focus on results, process, and hopefully you become more innovative. But today, we're going to focus on this people category right here. And I'm going to talk with you about a process that we use to help our employees live our mission and create a culture that actually serves our stakeholders, which for us we call students and families. So we're going to focus on the people part. And this is the process that I'm going to talk with you about. We're going to see this slide numerous times this morning. So let me ground you in it. This is the process by which we live our mission in the Pewaukee School District. On the outside of it are the four key strategies that we employ. So people understand it, they can communicate it, we nurture it, and we celebrate it. And then we focus on some tactics that we do, specific activities that we do that help take that to, to task and to life. So we're going to talk today about how we can employ this process. You can do it as well um, in terms of bringing your mission to life. 